Hey guys, Chris Broadhead here again. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, so update. I bought a uh, 93 40th anniversary Chevy Corvette with the LT1 350, a small block. Looks really clean. I cleaned it up a little. I mean, proper man. I just replaced the uh, fuel pressure regulator, the injectors, spark plugs. Uh, a little pain in the butt, but got that taken care of because uh, recently had a transmission rebuilt because um, I guess the uh, the planetary gears were worn out is what the guy said but who really knows because you can't look at it oh so I'll just trust what they say anyway um, after that not exactly 900 miles down the road uh, uh, died on me um, towed it back home the guy on had it on the truck and there was a gas leak coming from, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that little build up right, I can tap it, it'll focus, yeah, well, it's trying to, right there, yeah, it's like right, right behind the crankshaft pulley, so I don't know, and that little hose, that little hose right at the tip of my fingertip right there, I'd say a, uh, it's actually a power steering hose, so that's not a rubber gas line, otherwise I'd get down there and do it, but that probably, something else down there that I don't know about um I was hoping like like a like Chris Fix or somebody um could help me out on diagnosing this issue because I don't know what's wrong with it it's, it's uh doing fine ever since uh, my grandfather came down yesterday tried to look at it um he said there's probably a gas line right behind where the transmission and the en engine are sandwiched together but I doubt it because it's leaking from the front. So how's it leaking from the back? But there's no space for it to run through because whenever I had it up on jack stands, um, it, it would be level, so it wouldn't leak. But when I when I dropped it from the stands, all that fuel just dumped out. So it's leaking right behind the crankshaft pulley. And I don't know if there's a it's like a rub rubber gas vacuum line that it carry crosses over through or what. But um, I'm gonna try and tag Chris Fix or something or if one of y'all have any, any experience with these things because I don't have anything in the in the little Haynes manual that I have it has nothing on a wiring diagram or any vacuum line that goes down there anywhere um, but yeah uh, once I get that fixed I'll be r ripping and rolling like Dale <laughs> alright well um till then just have a great day, guys. See y'all next time.